Hey, what's going on Weavers? Tim here again. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And in today's episode, we're learning how to make a hidden stash paracord key fob. So this is an awesome little way to keep a bit of emergency cash on your keys with you. You can even put other items in there as well. And most importantly of all, it's hidden in plain sight. That's what we're doing today, so let's get into it. As for my materials, I've got three different colors of paracord, a split ring, as well as a ballpoint pen. I'm going to start off with two strands of the paracord. I've got the midpoint of my first strand. I'm just going to lay it down on my table like so. I'm just going to keep that midpoint marked with my finger. I'm going to take my second strand and I'm going to lay that midpoint on top of the first midpoint and I'm going to have them laying perpendicular to each other, crossing over like so. Next with the cord on the right side, we're going to bring it over to the left side and then the left over to the right, creating two sort of bends like this. Now, holding everything in place, I'm going to take the strand on the bottom, the Coyote Brown strand, bring that up to the top and go over the first strand on the bottom and through the bend on the right side there and bring that strand up to the top. And with the upper strand, we're going to bring that down. So it's going to go over the cord on top and through the bend on the bottom. And this is going to form a cross knot, something we've tied before on this channel. So I'm going to cinch up that first cross knot, but you don't have to cinch it up all the way yet. So you don't have to pull it too tight, just enough. And I'm going to separate my cords, I have two on the right and two on the left. Now with my third cord, the gray cord, I'm going to put it through the middle of this cross knot. So as you can see, I've got a green and brown on one side and green and brown on the other. And that gray strand is just going to go right in the middle like so. And now we can tighten up that cross knot and cinch it tight. So that's where we should be right now. Now we have a sort of six strand setup and we're going to start tying a six strand crown knot. So starting with any cord, I'm going to bend this first coyote brown cord around the gray cord. Now moving uh, clockwise, I'm going to go to the next green cord and I'm going to bend it around the coyote brown. And continuing moving clockwise, I'm going to take the gray and bend that around the green like so. And you're just going to continue doing this all the way around. Okay, so now moving on to the brown, the next one. Again, you're going to bend it around the previous one. So the brown will get bent around the gray strand. And now moving to the last one, the green is going to get bent around that last coyote brown strand. And at the same time, the end of that last green strand has to go through the bend in that gray strand right there. Okay, so that's where we started. We started with the gray. And now the tail end of that green is going to go through the bend of that last gray strand, or rather the first strand we started with. Okay, so we've tied our first crown knot. And now you're going to slowly cinch everything together. And um, this can be a little bit tough, so use your thumbs to kind of hold the pressure on the strands and get everything uh, relatively tight and cinch up that first crown knot. So as you can see, we've tied one crown knot and now we're just going to continue to do the same thing. Okay, you can start with any strand. It doesn't matter. Just put a bend in it and go uh, clockwise and continue that pattern of putting a bend in the strand and bending it around the previous strand all the way around until you get back to the beginning and put the last strand tail end through the first bend you started with, okay? So we're gonna tie a few of these crown knots and do try to get them uh, cinched up nice and neatly as possible. So we've tied a few of these crown knots and we're gonna continue tying these knots as we go down the key fob. And after you've tied about, I'd say three or four knots, you should be able to insert the body of the pen into the middle of those crown knots, like so, okay? And all that's gonna do is provide you uh, something to weave the crown knots around and ensure that you don't pull them too tight so that the inside of this hidden key fob isn't too small. So as you can see, I've got a few crown knots there and I can place the body of the pen through the middle of those crown knots and I'm just going to continue the same process and continue tying the crown knots around the body of the pen. You can probably do this without the pen, but just to be safe and you don't want to make those crown knots too tight, you want to make sure there's still that, um, you know, space inside the key fob, I definitely suggest using the pen. So I've tied a length of my key fob and as you can see, it's just a little bit longer than the 
width of a, uh, a dollar bill. So now I know I can fit the dollar bill inside and I've rolled up two dollar bills here. Um, you definitely want to you know, put maybe a bit more than two dollars inside your uh, hidden stash there, but this is just what I'm using for the demo. And we're going to roll up those two bills. Um, you can probably fit three in there. I fit three bills in there um, quite easily as well. It just depends on how tightly you roll it. But I'm inserting now the um, you know, money into the hidden stash compartment. And now to finish it off, we're going to tie one more crown knot nice and loosely all the way around. And once you get to the end, cinch it up just a little bit, not fully tight um, because we're still going to work on this knot. And we're going to finish this off by taking the end of one strand. So I'm starting with this Coyote Brown strand and I'm going to go underneath where the next two strands cross over. So you see where the gray and green cross over? I'm going to go in and out through the end there. Okay. So I'm inserting the cord right in underneath the two crossing over cords in the, um, in the following knot. And notice, for example, here, I'm going on the left side of that green strand and just right underneath where it intersects with that uh, brown strand. And you're gonna do this all the way around, okay? We're going from the outside of the knot and in and have those strands come out the sort of tail end there. And just do this all the way around your knot so that all the cords are now coming out through the opening in the middle. And lastly, getting this gray strand through and now all my strands are coming out the bottom of the knot like so. And from here, we're just going to cinch up this knot nice and tightly. Okay. So now I'm going to clip off the excess paracord and I'm not going to cut the tail ends too short before I melt them because um, if you leave them a little bit longer, you can undo and redo this last end knot in case you need to, you know, get access to your emergency stash and you can always um, retie it afterwards. And last but not least, I'm going to attach a split ring to the very top loop. So that's our hidden stash key fob. And one last thing, I don't want you guys to think that um, you have to limit yourselves to cash. I mean, you could even put some strike anywhere or uh, stormproof matches inside. And if they're not waterproof, maybe you can just wrap them in some foil like so. And um, now you have a hidden stash of matches, right? And I'm sure you could even maybe uh, hide both matches and cash in there if you wanted to. I'm sure you could wrap, you know, a, uh, a $20 or $50 bill around those matches and you still insert that into the hidden stash. And there you go. You've got a hidden stash key fob. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, a huge thank you to all my Patreon supporters. If you want to support this channel and get access to exclusive perks and videos for as low as three bucks a month, feel free to check out my Patreon page, link in the video as well as down below. And hope you guys will try this one out. If you enjoyed what I did in this video, feel free to check out what I have to offer on the rest of my channel.